All right, guys, we're back here on Coach Mode Dynasty. We're in the off season. We're up to the coaching carousel. We are offered a new contract. We signed it, but we're still going to go through the carousel here and see if anything comes up. We're interested to see if, like, the Arkansas State coach, um, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and keep going here. Okay, our head coach went to USC. So we do now not have a head coach at Georgia State University. So that's interesting. Texas. Rod Carey was fired. So who's going to be the next Texas head coach? The Temple head coach who had a good season moves on to Texas. Georgia State, who's going to come be our new daddy? Or are they going to offer me the job? Mike Norville, head coach of Arkansas State. Why would he leave there? He just whooped our ass last season. Head coach of ECU. We don't, we're not even up for it, huh? So the head coach of Mike Houston from TCU came over to coach Georgia State. Not sure we like that. Bowling Green had a good season. They ended up, his coach ended up going to BYU. Rutgers. Louisiana Tech head coach goes to Rutgers. Who's going to take over Bowling Green? DC from Michigan. They were in the championship game. Cincinnati, our new head coach from Notre Dame, huh? Offensive coordinator, they won the national championship. Who's taking over Louisiana Tech? Offensive coordinator from Michigan. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Okay. Arizona State head coach. Offensive coordinator from Temple. Boston College head coach. DC from Florida. Okay, Vanderbilt. Who's going to Vandy? I would think the OC from ECU will get the ECU job, probably. Notre Dame's national championship defensive coordinators going to Vanderbilt. Hey, the DC from our team's got a chance here. They're going to stay at their own offensive coordinator. They had a huge offense this year. They did. They go with Joe Sloan, their own offensive coordinator. So they're going to be running the same offense. Temple. Temple had a good year. Good to see our DC up for some jobs. Oh, our defensive coordinator is going to Temple. We'll have to keep that in mind. We might have to put Temple on the schedule. Wake Forest head coach. So both of our coaches left us. We got the ECU's head coach now at Georgia State. Okay, let's whip through these a little faster here. I don't think we're going to get offered any of these jobs. Curious where the Arkansas State coach ends up. South Alabama is going to get somebody good here. OC from Cal, they had a good year. Hawaii's head coach. DC Ohio had a really good year too, so they're going to get the Fresno State's uh, defensive coordinator. Notre Dame defensive coordinator and national champions. Who's going to take over their defense? DC for Bowling Green, huh? Florida defensive coordinator.
All right, let's just whip through these now. We got a pretty good storyline out of this stuff. So let's skip to uh, my next offer, see if I get anything. Texas A&M's offensive court. No, we didn't get any offers, so we're staying at Georgia State. So Temple got our defensive coordinator, and our head coach moved on also. Players leaving. This stage here, we are going to run our uh, we're going to run our Dynasty tool here. Our strong safety, he waited a year, he came back, and now he's going to project it to go in the fourth round. Michele Polisordo someday will end up being a coach. We got Tate. We got two strong safeties. Dickens was a good player for us. Bonner, I can't believe Dudley didn't get a go to the draft. Hmm. Heard our fullback. Crash wide receiver, you did good for us, baby. Thank you for everything. So there's our guys leaving. Got a couple guys. Dickens from Dickerson from Duke. Freshman middle linebacker. Riley a strong safety. 41 overall. No thing. You can stay where you're at. Lane did get drafted in the fourth round. Beautiful. I'm curious. ECU had a really good quarterback. I wonder if he's still going to be there. Lynn, 93 overall. He did get drafted in the fifth round. Okay, John Engel. We're going to put everything we got on two guys. Signing day. Looking forward to our training results here. I'm trying to get to that. This is going to be a very good team, I believe. John Engel, we got him. Did not get Thomas Grant, though. So we did get a Juco transfer. We got a top class in the conference. We signed a top 25 class. We signed a gem prospect. So, very good. Number one class in the conference, a top 25 overall. See all of our signings. There's Engel. Outside linebacker. We got a lot of good players in this draft. Our defense has got. Some help coming. Defensive end, Moon knows. Got athlete Brian Wilson, a future quarterback. We got a true fullback who's going to get a start right away. Very happy with this team. Or very happy with his class. Turned out to be way better than I thought it was going to. Go ahead and advance. Position changes are after the uh, recruitment. But we want to. Take a look here. We got some guys coming back. We got a freshman. Ellis will eventually be moved back to quarterback. See what it looks like with him at quarterback. 75 overall. 78 wide receiver. I mean, we got him in his best position. So we're going to leave him there for now. We can always play him at quarterback. So, oh, that's right. We do change them now. So we did get Brian Wilson, 77 overall quarterback. That's pretty much it. Him. He's the quarterback. Okay. Gibbs, 265, 246. Position. Going to be, figured he'd be a tight end. 
right in, left in. Okay. We can always move that around later. So he's a left in, right in. So let's go ahead and put him at right in. Brown, 6'5", 237. Natural position for him is going to be a defensive lineman also. Strong safety. 6'5", strong safety. That is high spot. We just did lose two strong safety. Yeah, we'll go with the six five safety, okay. That's it. We're not gonna move anybody else right now. Eventually we're gonna have to look at the tight end position. Armstrong's back for his senior year. Got a bus there. Oh, we'll have to see how he advances here. So let's go on to the next stage. All right, let's check out the team training results post Dynasty Tool. Golden's an 89 overall. Gilbert, 89. Johnson went up five. Wilcox is an 85. The senior. Okay, kicker's up. Ellis is an 85 overall, three safety. Huh? Armstrong, the tight end, went up. Butler's an 83 zone. Okay. Left guard, Cook, who's senior, he went up. Play, junior. Right guard, Miller. We got a very junior, senior. Senior, Hughes is a senior already, huh? Wow. Okay. Parks is a junior 80 overall. Lee, halfbacks 80. Butler. Go ahead and break it down by position. Quarterback, we have Johnson, Wilcox, Alford, who is a redshirt freshman. He was recruited last year. Ward, redshirt freshman. Halfback. Golden Butler, Lee, and Kevin Butler. You got some speed anyway. Kevin Butler might get some time. Freshman, okay. Fullback, we have a true freshman coming in there. Wide receiver, 89, 83. Clay has made his way to be quite a good receiver. Hughes is a senior. Other than that, we got everybody coming back. So tight end, Armstrong's a senior. We need help here. Left tackle. We're in good shape at left tackle. Left guard, we're in really good shape. Center. Junior. Miller, senior, sophomore. Right tackle, 81 overall Spencer. So we are really solid on the offensive line. Meeks is back for his senior year. Got Ryan right in. He's a senior. He tackles where we're going to be a little hurting. Joe Quinn. Left outside linebacker. Could use some help. Middle linebacker. Our linebacking core is not what it used to be. Yeah, Dickerson is a transfer, I believe. Jones was an All-American, so he plays good even though he's a 51. I don't know how the hell that happened. <laughs> Corner, Parks, Junior, Williams, Simmons. Got some work to do here. Our defense isn't that strong. Ellis, 85 overall. Got some other guys that can step up and play when Ellis has to do something else. Strong safety. We got true freshmen going to be starting there, probably. Kicker. Yeah, we'll move one of these guys to safety. 
strong, Steve. What happened to our punter? He wasn't. Okay. Anyhow. See, very good. So the team has improved a lot. We're coming into this season pretty strong. See. Go ahead and take a look at some of the other conferences here. Temple had a really good season. Going to move them to the Sun Belt. Okay, let's go back to the Sun Belt. Temple was put on this side. One of these guys got to go. No, actually, we're just going to make this other. We're going to add another team over here. We're going to make this a full conference. So, who else we got? An American. Five, six. Anybody else makes sense here? Not really, so we need to move someone out of here. All these guys did okay. Uh, and maybe we'll put Temple back. American. Okay. So really, we don't need to make a lot of changes here. SEC already has Texas, Oklahoma. Pac-12 has been gutted down. But we four teams that went to the Big Ten. Real life. Hard to put them in here when the Big Ten's already full. <laughs> I put Colorado there a while back. We got Iowa State and Colorado. We'll move them out. Iowa State and the Big. Well, Colorado, we're going to move to the Big 12. Okay, let's add. USC. Actually, USC needs to go over here. Swap them with Purdue. Now we need to add CLA. What am I? Easier this way. Good. Okay. Big 12. Iowa State's back there. We've got Colorado. The Pac 12. Oregon and Washington went to the Big 10, so can't do that right now. We're going to leave them here. Big 12 looks pretty good. 
American's lacking a little, but ACC went ahead and moved West Virginia here a while back. And that looks good. Not going to change the conference or the Sunbelt Conference, so I'm not going to change the tie ins or anything. Go ahead and go to the preseason. All right, let's check our schedule here. We want to add Temple because our defensive coordinator went to Temple, the head coach. Right, was it Temple? Okay, so we'll go there. Houston, huh? FIU. About Oregon, been having good battles with Oregon. We'll go there. Is that all of our out of conference? Three of them. Okay. Take Houston out. Let's go ahead. with teams we play in. Okay, doesn't look like any of those guys are there. So we will go ahead and go play Miami. We got Temple, Miami, Oregon. Temple's DC or RDC went to Temple. I don't remember where I had coach. Where the hell did he go? Go to ECU head coach went to our place. I can't remember. I have to go back and look what I recorded earlier. So that's going to be our schedule. Can't reschedule a conference. I didn't want to. Save them. Okay, go ahead and look at our depth chart. And then that we're going to end the video here. We got Johnson, Wilcox, and Alford. That looks good because you're going to redshirt the other kid. Halfback, Golden, Butler, Butler, Lee. So Desmond Butler is always going to be our starter. Give the other Butler. Is a little bit bigger back. We're going to give him a start over our backup over Golden. Golden just never played good for us. We got a true freshman McQueen at fullback. Gilbert Clay, receiver too, huh? Hughes, Wilcox, who is a quarterback. We're going to put Tremley there. Quarterback off. Why, why, why? Okay. You know, put Taylor there. Okay. Bad ends Armstrong. True freshman Washington. Left tackle, right tackle. Leave that there. Left guard works good. Center. Okay, right guard. Right tackle. Left end. Right end. Through freshman Munoz going to play right away. We got right end Ryan's a senior. Left end Mink. So Ryan's going to be the backup on both sides. D tackle, we got true freshman Dan Richardson. 
stepped outside linebacker. We got Wesley, middle linebacker, All American Jones, true freshman Dati. Gaddis, another freshman starting right away, right outside linebacker. Corner, we got Parks, Williams, and Simmons. Apparently, Wilcox is there too. Free safety, Ellis. Wilcox is everywhere, man. Strong safety, freshman Brown, 6'5, 237. Strong safety. We're going to go ahead and let him play. Return Butler. Okay, depth chart set for now. Red shirt. Red shirt. Just a couple people. Got a lot of freshmen playing, man. In a red shirt. Wilson. Give him a year to grow. Halfback. Could senior red shirt golden, that'd be kind of shitty though. So we'll let him stay. Dallas small, six three wide receiver. Patrick. Those guys are getting sat down. Childress. Tied in, we're gonna go with them. Edward. Gonna, that's all we're going to redshirt this year. Okay. Going to set up our recruiting board. We'll have that done for the next video. So that's going to be our off season. We're going to go on into the next season. We have a new head coach, a new DC. We're the only ones still here. So see if we can win a conference championship next season or this season now. So catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for everything.